welcome back to another car chat. I always do these when I've got random road trips and there's just something on my mind and I just want to share it. So today's topic is going to be my personal bucket list. Now I get that no one else can relate because it's mine, so you can go ahead and just skip this video if you don't really care. But I really do have a list on my phone that I've had for about four or five years. I just keep adding to it when I think of something that I want to do before I die. So yeah, there are a couple items that I've already gotten to cross off in the recent years. Um, these are in no particular order for the entire list, but I did get to cross off Ride a Horse the most simple thing that people have probably been doing since they were like three, but I had never ridden a horse until either last summer or the summer before last. I think it was the summer before last. So that got marked off, so that was fun. It was a lot bumpier than I expected, but it was so cool. We got to ride horses on the beach, big trail in Jekyll Island, Georgia, I believe. Another item I got to cross off was to visit New York City at Christmas time. And that was awesome because I have always wanted to visit New York City um, and I've always wanted to go Christmas time and it just so happened that mom was there for work in December so we all went for like during the week. It was awesome. A lot of fun. Got to see all the snow, all the lights, all the people. It was so crowded. So beautiful. I loved every second. I want to go back every single day. <laughs> Another item that I got to cross off recently was to ride the Amtrak train. And guys, I highly recommend if you ever get the opportunity to ride a train to do it because that was so awesome. I, we did ride one um, from New Jersey to New York City, but I don't really count that because that's like a normal commuter thing. Um, but I had ridden, I got off of a cruise ship with my friends last summer after we graduated. So we were docked at Jacksonville. So we were driving back to Cleveland, Chattanooga area. And my family was at the beach in, I think it was Jekyll Island. And so I had ridden a train from Jacksonville, Florida, all the way to Florence, South Carolina. And the dad went to go pick me up and drove like an hour and a half to take me to their campsite. So that was, first of all, two weeks of vacation was fantastic. I'll never get that again as an adult. So I definitely took advantage of that. It was awesome. But second, that was the best train experience ever. Like all the staff were super friendly. They literally come through and like punch your ticket like you're riding the freaking Polar Express. Like so awesome. They have a dining car. There's a sleeping car. I wish I would have known about the dining car ahead of time because I was starving to death. And the passenger beside me, she had offered me her KFC chicken because I was so hungry. I didn't know they had food on the train. So super fun experience. That was literally one of the highlights of my entire life. And I was by myself. And I think that was another thing that felt so cool was like, I'm literally riding a train all by myself. It was just so awesome. Obviously it meant a lot to me. Another item on my bucket list these are the ones I have not gotten to cross off yet so these are active bucket list items one is to donate blood and I have tried this one time I went into the little vein train or whatever they call it and I went in there I filled out all the paperwork and then they take some of your blood to take like whatever type it is like a sample and I did fine everything was okay but then they took my blood pressure and it was through the roof because I was so nervous so they couldn't they had to deny me I couldn't do it because I was I guess my blood pressure was too high. My blood and everything was okay, and it was a type, I don't even remember what blood type I had, but they said it was one of the kind that they do have a lot of, so it wasn't like imperative that I actually donated. So I didn't get to do that, but I did try, so I'm gonna have to try again. I wanna do one that gives out free t-shirts, <laughs> so I get a t-shirt with it, but that is on my bucket list. I hope to donate blood at some time. At some point, I'm gonna have to build the courage up again. I do not do needles at all, and that takes a long time. It's not just a shot. You have to sit there, and it takes forever, and so I don't know when that's gonna happen, but hopefully at some point. Another item, I want to ride a hot air balloon. I don't even know where you can do that, or if that's even like a real life thing, but it's definitely on my list. I've seen videos, and it looks absolutely fantastic. If I could go during sunrise or sunset, then I would just be living the high life. Like, top of my list, that would be fantastic. I also want to visit Alaska, and I want to visit everywhere. If I could literally go to every city in the entire world, or every country, I would definitely jump on that board. Um, but, <laughs> jump on that board, jump on board. Um, but Alaska specifically, because of the cold weather, the snow, there are places that they have northern lights, but I think it's like really far west Alaska, northwest, I'm not really sure. Um, but if I ever get the opportunity to go, I want to so bad, it, it would just be so fun. I would love Alaska, I already know. And I have a friend that just moved there from North Carolina, and I'm always looking at her pictures and everything, 
and she enjoys it. She's there because that's where her husband's at. So, anyways, that's on my list. I also do want to see the Northern Lights. I mean, who doesn't? That's probably one of the standard on everybody's list. But I definitely want to see that at some point. Not sure when that'll happen. I don't know where any, when any of these items are going to get crossed off. But they are on my phone, so they're real and they have to happen. I also want to go skydiving. That's like the most typical thing ever. Um, and my sister really wants to go too. So me and her were actually going to go uh, about a year ago. And I kind of chickened out because scary but I do want to go at some point I'll force myself eventually I also want to go to New York City during the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade that is one of those items that you kind of have to plan super in advance so it would be so fun though it would be so crowded but I have friends that have gotten to go for that it's, they have said that it's so worth it obviously but it's not as bad as you might think as far as traffic and crowds it's obviously really crowded but if you're staying there for a couple days anyways and the traffic really doesn't bother you so I that would be so fun and then the weather too would really make a difference because it can get real cold right there in November and I'm not sure about that but that's on my list <laughs> so let's make it happen I also want to enter into or create a March Madness bracket for basketball and this is something people do every year. I just don't get into basketball that much. Like I obviously love my Tennessee volunteer team and stuff, but I don't really like keep up with it and see which teams are good. Obviously Kentucky's good every year, but I don't really get into it, but I want to because it is so fun and so competitive. And that is like me. I don't know why I haven't really like fully invested into it, but I want to one of these spring times when I'm not studying for the CPA to where I can actually make a bracket and see how far I can go. That would be so fun. <laughs> Such a practical item on my list. It can be crossed off any year and I have yet to do it. I also want to go watch a Nashville Predators hockey game. They play all the time, like 20 minutes from my apartment and I have yet to go. They are doing really well. As you guys know, they're one of the best teams in the country. So prices are ridiculous. My roommate and I were gonna go a couple months ago and the cheapest ticket we could get was like $109. So maybe that's normal for hockey. We're not big hockey fans. So I was alarmed because I could go to any college football game cheaper than that and I would just much rather do that. <laughs> so eventually, maybe when they start to suck a little more, maybe I'll get to go to a Predators game. I also want to, why am I so dark? I also want to watch the Nutcracker Ballet on one of these Christmases. I almost did actually this past Christmas here in Nashville because it had came. They were like $90 a ticket, but a few of my uh, co-workers were going to go like together without, you know, their families. And I was like, I don't want to really jump into someone's family, but we were all going to just go together as a giant group. And so I was like, yes, let's do it. I can mark it off my list, but it never happened. So maybe eventually I'll get to go. That's definitely, definitely something I want to do. Bouncing off the Nutcracker Ballet, I also want to see the Broadway shows. The Lion King, that's the number one Broadway show I would spend all of my savings on. Just kidding, because nothing's worth just that two hour, three hour show. But I would go some distance to go see The Lion King. But also Wicked. Wicked is the one I really want to see. And it is in Nashville right now, this April. That's a sheriff I just passed. You guys see him? But Wicked is in Nashville at the Tennessee Performing Arts Center right now, this month, and I can't get anyone to go with me. Ugh, because it's so expensive, so I guess I'll have to go to another city to go see it unless they come back. Another item that has been on my list for a while is also dealing with New York City is to watch the ball drop on t in Times Square. But I think I'm going to mark that one off because the older I get, the more that is not appealing to me, especially because last New Year's Eve, I had friends that had went and it was like negative 12 degrees or something like that and you're out there for hours so I'm not sure maybe if it was like good weather and everything but I may go ahead and mark that one off another one I'm gonna go ahead and take off my list is to go to one of the Super Bowls because the prices have they went up like 30% this Super Bowl and if they keep going up that is just not affordable for the normal citizen like you have to be like a high up executive in some company to even afford to go to the Super Bowl. And that just sucks. It's like, what the heck? But if they do bring the prices back down to where normal people could go, then yes, yeah, sign me up. And the last item that is on my list right now is to ride a, a city bus 
to work. So to commute to work on a city bus. And that is so random, but we got bus passes for work whenever we uh, got hired on. We fill out all our paperwork and everything. And I had looked up, there is a bus that comes like to my apartment basically. I, I would have to drive to it, but it's like right there where my apartment's at. But it, it makes like 55 stops or something like that. So it's not really practical right now. But like from work, like the office building where I work at to my audit site right now, there's a bus that goes right there and it only makes like four stops. And so I was telling my coworker when we had training last week, I was like, let's ride the city bus. And he was not down for that. He did, he considered it for a second. He was like, okay, yeah, we'll be safe. We'll be together. It'll be fine. And then he was like, heaven, I'm not riding a city bus. But I'm like, they're commuting to work. It's literally working professionals like us. It's not like you're riding it like late at night to get to the club or something. So maybe at some point in my career that'll happen. I also don't wish for my car to break down to where that's like a necessary, I have to ride the bus. Cause there's probably people watching this that are like, I have to ride the bus every day and it sucks. <laughs> but it's something I wanna do, really odd and weird, I know. So that's gonna be the last item on my list. That's all for my bucket list. I add to it all the time. The most recent one that I added was that city bus because the last week I was like, oh my gosh, I need to put this on my list. Um, so comment below, let me know your guys' like top bucket list items. It's probably, I mean, I like to travel a lot and I want to see so many places. So if I like literally wrote down every single thing I wanted to do before I die, it would, it would be like thousands of items, but mostly places to visit. So I figured that's a little impractical for me. So Alaska is like the number one that I definitely want to go to before I die. And it's like in our country. So that can definitely happen, right? It's still just as expensive as like flying to Europe. So not sure but let me know your guys' top bucket list and thanks for watching and listening to the things I want to do even though I'm not really getting to mark off a lot. <laughs>